Hello, I'm Troy Schmidt from Geoprobe. Today we're going to talk about anchoring the 3230 for CPT pushing. The 3230 is unique to the industry in that it can do direct push work, can do rotary work, and we can switch to do CPT as well. In many applications in the field, there's a case where we can push CPT a distance and then we have to do some augering to clear a hole before we can continue pushing CPT. Many other rigs don't have the downforce or the capability to push CPT and do the drilling. So it's a very unique feature we have here in the 3230. So to push CPT with the 3230, we need some reaction. So we have some static weight in the rig. In some applications, static weight alone is enough to provide enough reaction to push CPT. This of course depends on the target depth and lithology. In order to get 20 tons of static push out of the 3230, we need to use earth anchors. In order to do that, we'll use some screw anchors to screw into the ground and that will give us the reaction we need. To set the anchors and do pushing with CPT on the 3230, we have an adapter from the spindle down to inch and 5 eighths. With that, we can screw the anchors in and we also have a push-pull cap for pushing seismic or CPT with a cable that we'll put into place to perform that operation. To begin anchor setup, a 10-inch diameter anchor is advanced to depth using the powerful auger drive on the 3230DT. The drill mast is then repositioned to install the second anchor. This process is made quick and easy with the tracks, extend, and swing functions. The second 10-inch diameter anchor is installed approximately 30 inches from the first anchor. Again, using the extend and swing functions, the drill mast is maneuvered into position to connect to the anchors. An anchor bridge beam is placed over the anchors and onto the drill mast foot. Two anchor pinion brackets are connected to the anchors to hold the drill mast to the ground for pushing. Once anchoring is complete, the CPT logging equipment can now be set up. A string pot records vertical movement of the head to record logging depth. A seismic CPT push-pull cap is attached to the spindle adapter. The rig is now ready to begin pushing the CPT cone. With the flip of a switch on the control panel, the automatic head feed is enabled. Fully lowering the head feed joystick advances the head at the steady 2 cm per second rate specified by ASTM standard D5778. The 3230 has 20 tons of push and 40 tons of pull. All this power is safely and efficiently managed through the precise controls at the driller's fingertips. Rods are added until the desired logging depth is reached. Upon completion of the CPT log, the tool string is retrieved using a pole cap. We showed you today how easy it is to set up the 3230 with earth anchors to push CPT. The 3230 is unique to the industry in that it can do direct push work, can do rotary work, and we can switch to do CPT as well. For more information, visit our website or call us at 785-825-1842.